Welcome back to another TEW 2020 video. Today we're going to be finding out what happens with the rest of Mandy Rose's career. So here we are looking at Mandy Rose's profile. We're at the year 2032. She was just released. I mean, just retired, I mean. She ends her career in Shimmer. Let's look at... Let's look at her match history first. Just to see the types of matches she was putting on. So let's go down to 2022, which is when I started this. She had okay matches. She went to MLW. Um, you know, overall, just honestly average. Average matches. Um, let's go to the headlines here. So she was started by released in WWE. Hired by MLW. She was caught cheating with Bandito. She's hired by Shine. And then Bandito was cheating on her with Anna J. And now they hate each other. She leaves MLW, leaves Shine. She was hired by Shimmer. Hired by the NWA. And then she retired. And was released from the NWA. So look at her title history here. She was the MLW World Featherweight Champion, ch champion holder two times in 2023 from May to October, and then the Featherweight Champion from April 2024 to December 2024. She was a Tag Team Champion in Shimmer from October 2029 to October, to oh my god, to November 2029 with Sierra from Wisconsin. Don't get that wrong. She was a Shine Nova Champion from January to May in 2025, and then the two-time Shine Tag Team Champion from March 2024. Uh, just to the end of, end of the month, basically, with Natalia Markov. And then July 2026, January 2027, with Natalia Markov as well. So back at the home screen in 2020, 2032. Man, got a use of the 30. Uh, Andrade El Idolo was the rest of the year. How many of the year was AEW? Team of the year was John Silver and Cody Vance. Match of the year. What on earth? Ring. Why rock stars. <laughs> Were rushed defeated Aerostar. Show of the year was Blood of Blood and Guts. And Wrestle of the Year was Super Crazy Junior. Veteran Wrestle of the Year was Rush. Female Wrestle of the Year was Yulia, sure. Uh, WXW was most improved. Latiago, I think that's how you say it. Latigo was independent wrestler of the year. Manager of the year was Shusato. Announcer of the year was Gia Miller. But commentator of the year was Salas Young. Referee of the year was Larry Pants. Pa Peace, Larry Peace. Okay, so let's look at the annual awards here. 2022, there was no winner, probably because there wasn't, there wasn't like, there was only like a month time that it did it. But in 2023, Tyler Black, Seth Rollins, and then Andre El Idolo, eight times in a row. God dang. Where was he at? So he's been in AW this whole time. Um, He did pretty good for himself in AEW in this save. I don't think in real life. That's going to happen, but um, two-time AW Tag Team Champion with once with Pac, once with Will Yuta, Rios Champion two times uh, with Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison, the other time with Ortiz and Austin Gunn, three-time AW Champion, um, two-time FTW Champion, he was Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Ring of Honor World Champion. And that looks like that's about it. His matches, they're looking pretty good. He's, I mean, obviously, they got to be good. 
uh, his achievements, obviously the rest of the years, um, power rankings. He's been two and then one ever since. And he's, so he's been basically AEW and Ring of Honor. Yeah, that's been it this whole save. Um, yeah, nothing too, too crazy about him. He, he relocated to the Mid-South. Okay. How's Tyler Black doing? So he's still in WWE. Uh, he was loaned to NXT, so he was in and out of NXT for a while. With his achievements. Wrestle of the Year in 2023, obviously. And that's been about it. Uh, title history. Let's see. 2024, he won the Money in the Bank. 2025, 26, 28, 29. He won the Money in the Bank. Uh, he won the Royal Rumble in 2030. And 2023, he won the Universal title. 2027, he won the World title. And then he won the Men's Royal Rump, the Battle Royale twice of WrestleMania, 2025, 26. 2025, he won the WWE Championship. And 2030. So there is still hope for Seth Rollins. Let's look. Let's look at Roman Reigns. Not you. Oh, I forgot. It's not Roman Reigns. Joe and Hawaii. Okay. Oh. Okay, so they drop him as their figurehead. He's in and out of NXT. He got injured, but he extended. He was out for a year. Jeez. He extends with WWE a few more times. Then he gets a scandal. After his regular use of prostitutes, he's released by WWE. Joe, uh, Roman Reigns and Camille Kane hate each other. Okay. And uh, Roman Reigns and Aries hate each other. Let's look at his title history. Um, Universal title in 2024, 27, 28. And that's it. Who did he lose? Who did he lose the title to? Let's look at all years. Uh, oh, wait, only title matches. Yeah. Let's go down the beginning. So he defeated AJ Styles, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, Braun Strowman, AJ Styles, and then Drew McIntyre defeated him. Okay. Drew McIntyre defeated, finally ended Roman Reigns' reign. Man, he... He ended his career awfully. Joe and Ellie and the Briscoe brothers defeated Tr Trevor Court and Wild and Reckless. With the 39 inter oh, overall match in the Indies. Same thing, tagging with the Briscoe brothers. Um, his last match in WWE was against Wesley, where he was you beat him with a 74 overall rating. Okay, so looks like the future is not good for Roman Reigns in this world. Where Mandy Rose is released. How is NXT looking? Let's look at the women's title here. Not that I'm probably going to know anybody. So let's look for that Mandy Rose. So Mandy Rose, it was... Wait, this is a different one. Maybe it's not. Oh, no, I guess. Okay, so she vacated it, obviously, in December 2022. Ivy Nile, Lash Legend, Wendy Chu, Gigi Dolan, her former partner, Cora J, Gigi Dolan. Uh, how many times has she won it? So it looks like... 
Gigi Dolan was a four-time champion after Mandy Rose left. Ava Rain is the champion, The Rock's daughter. How's she looking? So she's still on NXT. But she's doing some decent matches. She's a two-time women's champion and a two-time tag team champion in NXT. Okay. You know, there's really not much else to go about here. Circle back and look at look at Mandy Rose. Oh, she's Amanda Sacco Mano. So obviously, I mean, she was. I feel like fairly older, and her stats weren't as great at this time. Uh, what I was kind of hoping was that just a big career revival, but it looks like she just kind of, she just kind of came in and out of places trying to find something and never really got it. She definitely had a rougher start with some low, low, low rated matches. But I was definitely, I was definitely expecting a lot more. From her on this one to be honest but that is just a simulation and I like, think she's doing way better for herself outside of wrestling anyways so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time